Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's Fun Day Monday, where I cannot ever feel like my camera is in the right position. Let's see if this will do it. That feels a lot better. Do you feel better? Because I feel okay. I feel quite nice. I have a lot of liquids. I have a coffee. I have water. It's a lot of liquids. Now, normally, we do part two of Monday Monday. Oh my god, the hugest air bubble just went into my body. I was talking and tried to quickly drink and swallow, and like the air from the next word was still there. And then it just, like one of those cartoons where you see like the bubble traveling down my chest. Oh, oh, man. I'm in the mood to go on slightly more tangents than normal uh, lately, um, as in today. I'm trying to think of anything really notable happened. I don't know if I have that many tangent-worthy things. Oh, my roommate Asher, his game threes, that's been like number one on the App Store for like 14 or 15 days. I think it's dropped to like 12. It's out on Android now. So if you have an Android phone, you can help my roommate buy his meat today by purchasing his game threes. Anything else occur? I don't know. Here's a weird story. Um, th in third grade, I think many of you may have uh, seen the story time, the day night story time I did, where I told uh, about how I would um, build card castles and not let anyone ever use my card castles. I wouldn't let anyone join in and help me. It was mine and stuff. It was very individualistic, but I still had crushes back then. I didn't actually know what that meant. I, lo I looked insane. Um, I didn't... I, the idea of having a friend like never occurred to me. I was busy with a card castle. But man, there were some crushes that I had. And they were those pure crushes. So pure that I didn't even know the wonderful girl upon whom I had a crush. She might be great. She might be a mannequin. I don't know. I've never even tried to speak to her, but I loved her so much. Um, and, God, I'm so dumb. There was, you know how sometimes people will injure themselves when they're young? And they'll be like, it didn't hurt. When you're old, I just say ouch for no reason. I When my alarm goes up, I'm like, ow, fuck. Like, I say that every single day. I'm proud to say ouch. Even if something doesn't really hurt, if you bump me, I'll be, ouch. Oh, I guess it didn't hurt after all. But I still say it. There's no shame in saying ouch. But when you're in third grade, there's absolute shame in being ouchful. So, someone bumped in to the girl of my dreams. Her name was Felicity. And she goes, ouch. And I went, that didn't hurt. And she's like, no, it didn't. She immediately agreed with me because she knew. And I was like, you want to know it does hurt? And she's like, yeah. And I put my finger right here on this pressure point under the sternum and pushed really hard. And she was like, <laughs> like gasping with pain. I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I have no idea why I thought that that would be the way to her heart. I mean, I was expecting the fine mist in the air after that one. I almost killed her because I think I'm basically pushing on her heart. I don't know what is there, but it's like, even Bruce Lee is like, no, I'll punch you in the face because that's more tender than hitting you in the sternum point. So, um, this has nothing to do with anything, but I, I just, I'm, I'm always intrigued by the fact when I revisit memories of me at a younger time, I actually feel like I've telepathically linked to a psychopath every single time. Even when I look at 17-year-old me, where I'm just like, oh, pff, God. I just, oh, I have these sad, like, feelings, and it's like hair. They would, like, I'd really long bang, so I'd, like, be, oh, pff, oh God. Maybe I'll just be a math professor and no one will ever love me. That is a thought that I had. Those words, maybe I'll be a math professor and no one will ever love me, would happen as a single sentence with no commas 
Like, that was... And when I think back, I'm like, oh, what was... Why would I even try to think that? I was crazy. But still, third grade Sean, mmm, poking all the pressure points. Not even the sexy ones. The ones they warn you about. Mmm. That's right. That's right. I'm like the Vulcan death grip of romance. Down in the bottom corner, we got Penruo Arazath. And up on the top, we have BXF symbol, Strewdog. Alright, we're going to watch a couple games here of Arazath, who's a sort of regular submitter. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Rosanio O is asking, when did he turn into an unpsychopath? Question mark, LOL. Ouch, my sternum pressure point. I am not a psychopath. Oh. Oh. How dare you say that to me? I am so well put together. So well put together. Look, within arm's reach, contact solution, sriracha. I am not a psychopath. Within arm's reach, chicken, figurine, Manfred is an astronaut figurine. I am not psychotic at all within arm's reach car keys electrode gel for applying heart rate sensors what it's not a big deal guys I am so well put together oh down on the bottom side He's got electro gel. He's really thinking ahead. It's really incredible. I didn't even have to travel. It worked really well. Strew dog. Strew dog. Moving on in. It's not electro gel. It's electrode gel. It's a Spectra 360. Uh, it's salt free and hypoallergenic. Pfft, what more do you need? I gotta get that on my OK Cupid profile. Interests women who are salt free and hypoallergenic. I don't want to break out in hives, ladies. Please, keep your allergens to yourself. <laughs> he knows how to romance. He knows how to charm them. Ladies, I know you can't help but release the fine mist. We see Strewdog walling himself in as a proxy barracksing occurs. We see the Zerglings, by the way, sorry in advance. What are you, giving a shot? Arazath, he goes in. He knows he wants to go this way, that way, every which other way. And Arazath walls himself in. Lings versus SCVs. Will it be a massacre? And Overlord's coming in, and he's basically thinking, Bow! Arazath tries to flank the building. A maneuver reserved only for those who are performing Fun Day Monday. He's picking off SCVs. The numbers are dwindling. The numbers are going down. Damage is being taken. Damage is being received. Strew Dog. Taking some hits. Repairing. Fun Day Monday time. Look at Arazat's attitude. He's still building lanes. He doesn't give a damn. He's fine with everything. He's having himself the time of his life. Now, listen. He's got five drones, and he's getting gas, and that he's going to put three into the gas. But he needs speed. He's only going to mine for a little bit. And then he's going to go right back to mining minerals. Relax, okay? He needs speed. Look. He's going to devote 60% of his available workers to get gas, but it's irreplaceable when speed's on the way. <sighs> oh, Arazath. Oh, all the lings moving in. <gasps> Couple marines getting built. Suddenly boredom striking in. And the SCVs are like... I hear that. Think about it. Strewdog. 
doing his best to stay alive to defend. Oh, Baneling Nest always increased his SCV. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Oh, just micro and get the SCV out of here, maybe? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Do I come back home for this? Oh, well. We're gonna. Ah. Uh, mmm. We'll for sure cancel this. Let's get this out of the way. There's no reason that should ever finish. And, uh. Well, right now, I guess it's gonna be, uh, it looks like it's eight Marines versus ten Zerglings, so unless something bad happens, then... Oh, wait, he's target firing. Oh, yes! Take that! Oh, the interface got to him. He right-clicked. He should have won aid. Oh, dishing out the punishment, so all we gotta do is mine gas for a little bit to get that Baneling nest up. Not a lot of gas. Just a little bit, and... Does he see the flying barracks? Okay, he doesn't. Um. Um. Oof. Okay. Were you doing proxy racks all along? Yep. Lol. Well, Arizath. Look at that attitude. Love it. Oh, Felicity Plot is in the chat. Good to see you, sweetheart. I've missed you. <laughs> How goes the production of our babies? Felicity Plot is the name of someone in the chat, by the way. I'm not just arbitrarily bringing up my fictional love. Who's quite realistically there. Ooh, Felicity Prime's in the chat as well. That's Mecha Felicity. She challenges your suspension of disbelief. Right, Michael Bay? Right, Michael? Mike? Mike? Michael Bay! In charge of Felicity Prime. Half the time, she's a mech. The other half of the time, I don't know, maybe she's a computer. She turns into a computer and sits idly. And says things like, do you want to install this toolbar? No, Felicity Prime, back off. It's true dog, considering where to place these barracks, not a lot of places are going to be bad. There is Zath. Mmm. Mmm. Front line of things go down. He gets a ling in the base. He manages to bring the SCV constructing to a little under half life before dropping dead on the ground. Roaches. Roaches will help. Ah, well, there's the scan, and a four barracks marine will lead to a four barracks marine attack. Yeesh. Mm 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 mm. Without any further ado, Arazath, I like you. I love you, in fact. The three roaches loses to 20 marines every day of the week. Well, GG. Gotta keep trying. And try again, Arazath doth do. He doesn't give up. He doesn't surrender. He knows the mantra of We Day Nights. Be a better gamer. Never give up. Never surrender. Keep going at it. In his second Fun Day Monday attempt. Penruo Arazath. A very awkward name to say. Is against re gravity. Re, re, re. Am I saying that right? Re, 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 re. I gotta do that like double toned throat singing stuff. <laughs> gravity is the name of the clan in the top. Penruo Arizath. Six pooling is way to victory. If at first you don't succeed, there it is. How do you pronounce it? <laughs> Gravity. Pause, pause. Sure, go, go. Go, go. Both players having a nice time. Both players having a fantastic start to this match. Zergling's getting built. <gasps> Ooh. Ever heard of a guy named Mr. Plot? Tasteless or Day 9? The other one. Day 9. I like that. Known both me and Nikki? Yes? Well, happy Monday! <laughs> Arizath, you're doing this way too soon, man. What? Wait, what? 
Gravity doesn't really know how to react. And there it is. Da -na -da -na. Time to dick around. You said it best, out of Zath. SCV is gonna get pulled off the lines. Mm mm mm. How is Ath really doing a good job in this particular match? Battling the SCVs. Ooh, the drone lanes get a good surround on the SCVs. The count dwindles down to nothing. It's a Reaper. It's a Reaper. It's just one Reaper. That's the only unit left. And he's. Oh, and he need and ooh um he yeah well he does have a reaper shit um well uh ooh there's a mule there that's ooh man well we built all the links oh no oh no Oh my god. Arazath got... It's Wednesday, bitch! Oh my god! Oh my god, that's really... Oh, oh... In a vacuum, you wouldn't understand why Arazath might be upset by that. If you don't play StarCraft 2 or watch the Day 9 Daily, that doesn't have a lot of meaning. But right now, Arazath has to go to one of his friends and say... And then he said, it's Wednesday, bitch. And the friend's like, but it was Wednesday. And he's like, no, 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 not literally Wednesday. Oh, God, no one will ever know my pain. We're here, we share it with you, Arazath. That sucks. It's Wednesday, bitch. Man, Reapers are such a buzzkill. No, oh, my God, Gravity had a moment there where he was like, oh, my God, I'm going to lose. And then he managed to hold off a six pool with a Reaper. And suddenly... A fine mist appeared behind him, and he thought, Time to dig in. It's Wednesday! That is not the day of the week you think it is. My ID has a little slash through the O. That doesn't exist in any language. Got him. 1-0, best of one. Hero Ling, says Arazath, refusing to be thwarted. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Two, and... Now, if I were Arazath, I'd probably leave the game, sadly. <sighs> Hurts for Arazath. And yes, I know an O with a slash through it exists. I thought that joke would be communicated by my sarcasm, but in fact, everyone just thought, man, Day9 is really not very bright. I don't think he gets a lot of things. He sees symbols he doesn't recognize and he judges them. That's, what it, that's the thing that he does. But the important thing that I want to convey is that this topic is busted inherently. Because if I make you six pool every game, you're gonna have games like that! But don't worry, we got games coming up that are different. The first punch actually just hurt my hand. I threw my knuckle into my palm. We got another one. <gasps> oh, it's from my big boy Eon Blue. We all know you have a hard time with numbers. Tim the Mango calling me out. No, that's Tim the Mage. Whoops. I can't read. <gasps> Symbols. What do they mean? You know, I really think that that is a... Uh, that's, that's brutal. The equivalent of calling Tim the Mage in chat Tim the Mango. Uh, it's a lesser version of what I did when I worked as a bagger at a grocery store. There were a couple times when I said, hello, sir, or ma'am. Oh, fuck. If you call someone the wrong gender, uh, and not even, 
like you misunderstood, but like, hey, my first impression of you is that you're the opposite gender of what you are. Oh, and then I have to say paper or plastic? Goodness. I almost want to be like, dude, put the groceries away yourself. I need to just be another place and walk to the aisle on the right with the small portions, the 12 items or less aisle. I need to relax. I need to unwind, man. Dude, my experience as a grocery store sacker really inspired me to go to college because I got yelled at so much. I got yelled at constantly by moms who'd say things like, now are you gonna pack my bread pop properly this time? And I'd be like, I've worked here for four days. And she's like, well, the last young man who decided to pack my groceries wrong put my bread at the bottom. Do you know how hard it is to make sandwiches with flat little strips of paper bread? And I'm like, ma'am, I'm 14. I'm not even capable of valuable thought. Like, what? It Young man, do you know where the eggs go? I'm like, I don't know, under the chicken? Fucking, I get paid minimum wage. What do you want from me? I don't want to be quizzed. I hate, I hate being here. I've been standing for eight hours. <laughs> oh, man. And, like, during breaks... It, I was I would get this lime soda. I don't remember the name of it, but it was just like lime soda. That was the whole thing. It was like sugar and water and lime. And that was the whole drink. And I would go to an alley where I'd probably get mugged and would just sit there and I would just I would untuck my shirt. I would do some symbol to subvert authority and I would just drink my lime drink really slowly. And that lime drink was like a dollar ten, so it was like all my tips for the day. Oh yeah. The number of times I got quizzed by mothers. The number of weird paper preferences that you'd uh, or the packaging preferences you'd get. Can you do paper inside of plastic? That is something that is requested at grocery stores. Cause the paper makes things I guess lie more neatly. But the plastic has the handles, so sometimes you gotta put one in the other one. I don't know. At least it wasn't as bad as the woman who asked for plastic inside of paper inside of plastic, because the paper would organize it, but it would get kind of wet, and she wanted to use them later for her own purposes. So she wanted groceries inside of the plastic on the center ring so it wouldn't get the side of the paper bag wet. And then she needed another paper bag for handles. I don't know. Maybe you should just deal with a wet bag. And I'm 14 in this story. Do you see where the disconnect is? She didn't see where the disconnect is. What do you know? Um, I eventually quit that job because I, with the help of my mother, had a summer camp at DigiPen uh, where I did 3D animation. A little, like, two-week course there. It was pretty dope. Mmm. Mmm. Number one game to play at a grocery store when you're a sacker? Take everything that person is buying and fit it into one task that they were trying to achieve. You see a guy in his early 30s who works out too much buying Worcestershire sauce and condoms? <gasps> Party time! Whoa! Woman buying a Snickers bar, a romance novel, a gift card, and celery. Uh-oh. Some serious trauma's been going on in her life. She wants to indulge and cut back in one trip. Oh! That poor woman. Kleenex and watermelon. Ah, you dog. Keep it together, friend. These combinations that you'd see would make no sense. It would be like cucumbers and rubber gloves. Rubber gloves? Oh my god, this person's gonna swallow it in one take. This isn't gonna be eating. This is gonna be an, a surgical insertion maneuver. <laughs> I mean, the number... Like, I'm not making any of these up. I saw 100% of these. Like, so, like someone buying, like, nothing but notepads and whey protein. Seems pretty reasonable, right? This is someone who wants to work out and wants to record how ripped he is. Perfect. Perfect. I understand it. That is okay. But when it's like Clorox bleach, 
People magazine, the DVD of the rejected movie sequel that's on the thing, and like Red Bull? I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know. Do you have bad taste in media and you're trying to wake up and clean this evening? I don't understand. I don't understand what you're about. I'm 14 in this story, okay? Now, paper or plastic, not any combination of the two. Fuck off. In this game, in the bottom left-hand corner, from Team 06, we have Eon Blue. In the top right corner, we have Tee Pizard. Alright, nice. That was a good tangent. I like that one. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Alright, I'm gonna speed this up. This game is just dumb. Oh, this game is so stupid. You're not gonna be able to make any sense out of this game. <laughs> What's a Pikazard? Oh my god. If Twitch Plays Pokemon saw this, they would be like, Anarchy, Anarchy, up, A, A, B, up, down, A, B, Anarchy, Democracy. Pikazard, Chrono Boosting Zealots. Moving probes every which way. We have Zerglings versus Zealots versus Micro versus no Zealots versus one Zealot versus Chrono Boosted Zealots. A second gas coming up from Pikazard. Probes pulling off, getting back on, retreating, retracting, entering, moving onward. Down the bottom side, Pikazard. <gasps> Trying Pika hard to block everything that's going on. You can't expand here, but you can expand here because guess what? That pylon doesn't block much of anything. But at the same time, Eon Blue! Taking a dangerous expansion, continuing to aggress with his lings. He's also gotten speed. <gasps> double gas, double fast. Eon Blue, can't believe you, trying to do everything all at one big swing. Pikazard, Pika Hard, checking everything out. Extra gateway, coming up on up. Speed for Lingu. And Eon Blue suddenly has an economy, but what is he going to do with said economy? He's like an inexperienced young child who's just received a raise. That's right, he's like a Disney actor. Pikazard. Uh, uh, chrono boosting and not quite going to get that pylon down in time. The zealots move forward, the zealots move backward. The zealots channel themselves next to a corner by a rock. Things are dying. Zerglings are streaming in. Zerglings getting surrounded. Zealots moving in. And uh, we're just going to chill under the Overlord. We're going to retreat. We're going to split ourselves up. We're going to rejoin together. We're going to retreat. Expand, 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 expand. We will get through this in segment two. Forge goes down. Time warp. Sentry, sentry. Block, block. Gateway, gateway. Uh-oh. Guess what, baby? Twilight Council's finishing up, and so's a... <laughs> excuse me, burp. Double Evo Chamber. For what reason? Decision-making. We see in the bottom side, Eon Blue with a hatchery. Eon Blue getting up his gas. Eon Blue, target firing a forge. Eon Blue, taking his aggression out on rocks. You gotta take it out at some point. Forge that's not researching anything. One of the most important targets for Eon Blue because of passion. 1-1 one, one upgrades en route ahead of any upgrade from Pikazard. He's quite Pika far behind. Anarchy, democracy. <gasps> 12, 16, 12, 2, 8, and 8. Get in there. No. Ah. Eon Blue got Eon screwed. And he's going to target it again down to three. Oh. Eon Blue. Seriously! <laughs> Expletives nowadays. Oh my god. Seriously. <laughs> Listen, if you don't think seriously is, an, is a hilarious thing for someone else to say... Replace in your mind the word seriously with in actuality. <laughs> I didn't kill it in actuality. Big guttural moans. In actuality. It's just 
Oh man, it wasn't even upgrading anything. Eon Blue, come on man. Eon Blue, ah! And that's the, the most amazing thing is that this happened in a moment of utter enragement, which meant he wasn't in control, his fingers coordinated to get all the complicated battles of seriously together. Oh, Eon Blue, I love it. I can't get enough of it, I hope you win this game. He's walling his forge off with a forge. That's adding insult to insult. That's like, you're an asshole, parentheses, an asshole. I know, you didn't need a footnote it. Oh, man. <laughs> it looks like Picazard. Oh. Ah, he's moving on in with gateways worth of units. Gateways worth of units. Eon Blue taking some damage. Taking some pain. Eon Blue throwing down his spine crawlers. Getting up some bane links. <gasps> will it happen? What will go down? Eon Blue's struggling. The six pool didn't originally. Uh the six pool didn't originally win the game, but that's okay because the Ling Bane Ling are thinking about counterattacking. And the Bane Lings, if they can connect to that, this is gonna be the most Game-changing disappointment that has ever happened to Eon Blue ever. Look at this Bane Ling. Oh my god, it's like whenever I'm on a subway in Asia, I just don't fit. Walls all around me. Ceiling pushed right against my nose. But that's okay, Eon Blue has a plan and it's called Mutalisks. Will the Mutalisks succeed or will the Mutalisks fail? I'm going to take a break. Because we've had a 33-minute segment. Tangents about a grocery store ate up time. When we return, will Eon Blue Eon do it? Seriously, will he do it? In actuality, will he do it?